Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today, and welcome to today's Chelsea News video, where I'm going to be talking about player transfers. That's right, if football is indeed to return next month, as soon as the 8th of June, which kind of feels a bit mental right now, Ugh, things are going to start moving again. The conversations are going to be struck up between clubs, players, agents, etc. Of course, the priority is to conclude this season's campaign, but clubs will want to get ahead of the curve and basically they'll want to start getting deals rolling, especially if they will be short for time before next season. So, as you could guess, loads of stuff is going on in football media news headlines. So, I want to talk about players today, notably strikers and attackers. First off, apparently Moussa Dembele is, looks like he's very close, if you're to believe any of this stuff, to moving to Manchester United. Apparently there is total agreement. I do know Manchester United are in for the player. Maybe they'll pay more. Maybe they'll offer more wages. Maybe the player sees himself having a better chance of playing at United rather than Chelsea because he's only got to come up against uh, Anthony Martial, who hasn't scored as many goals as up-and-coming Tammy Abraham. Maybe. Sticking with Manchester United, Angel Gomez still hasn't signed a new deal and more stories are sort of surfacing that he is tipped to go to Chelsea. Chelsea. Right, a player that Chelsea probably don't need. If he wants game time, if that's the reason why he's not signing for United, is he going to come and immediately get games at Chelsea? I'm not so sure. And the big one, Victor Ossimham. Apparently Chelsea were <laughs> rumoured to be that secret club that put a £75 million bid in but apparently that's not the case and they do face competition to sign the forward. If you enjoy daily news updates on Chelsea Football Club then you should subscribe to Football Therapy because I'm uploading every day funnily enough. So please do sub, join the fun, why not yeah, well, hit the bell notifications icon, I should tell you that, that's important and why not like the video to help a brother out. Alright let's get into the content. Let's start with Moussa Dembele, a player that Chelsea have been looking at for a while. Frank Lampard pretty much admitted himself that Chelsea are interested in the Leon centre forward who has played at Celtic who has paid at Fulham. A decent level striker, looks pretty solid, looks like a good centre forward, doesn't post incredible numbers but he's still relatively young. Apparently he wants to go to Manchester United. Well either that or Manchester United has struck a better deal with Leon. This would kind of be a bit of a blow because, like I said, this is a player Chelsea have looked at for a while and probably would be a good tier level player to go at it with Tammy Abraham to fight for the first team spot. Now, like I said at the top of the video in the intro, he might fancy his chances a little bit better at Manchester United than Chelsea because, you know, Giroud might stay another year. Tammy Abraham's got a lot of goals uh, this season from the centre forward position. So you might look at that and think, you know what, United are going to give me loads and loads of money. Uh, they've got an exciting project. I'm going to go there. It could be that, or it could just be Manchester United are putting together a better package uh, for Leon and the player. This will frustrate Chelsea Football Club because they are a club that has been looking at. Like I said, Moussa Dembele, Frank Lampard pretty much admitted it in the January transfer window. So we'll have to see, but we're going to talk about Victor Ossimhem in a few minutes, who probably is the better choice of the two anyway, for a few reasons. Someone who Frank Lampard has also spoken about, by the way. I'll tell you what he said in just a moment. But first, let's have a few words on Angel Gomez. Yeah, so this one confuses me. I've spoken about it on the channel before. Not signed a deal with Manchester United. I think he's turned down free contract offers now from the Manchester club. And it does look like it might not be to do with money. It might be to do with game time. Chelsea Football Club are tipped to sign Angel Gomez. Now, for me, I don't get it, but you know, maybe I'm not supposed to get it. Maybe people at the club know what Chelsea need. And it might be Angel Gomez, but on the face of it, he looks like an attacking midfielder that Chelsea have an abundance of. Gallagher, Tino Andrian coming through, and then obviously they just have loads of attacking midfielders at the club. So why Angel Gomez? And if it is indeed for game time, is he going to get guaranteed game time at Chelsea? I am not so sure, man. Chelsea have loads and loads of midfielders. And if Chelsea were going to bring in a midfielder, you'd imagine it would be like a Milinkovic Savic level midfielder that would have to get game time due to his absolute quality. 
Sure, Angel Gomez is really, really highly rated and an exciting young player, and it would be good to have him. And you know, you could banter your rivals, Manchester United. We took one of your kids who's really good. And I know he's mate, he's, you know, he's, I think he's from London and he's mates with the Chelsea youngsters. So that would be nice for him. But does it really make sense? For me, on the outside, as a general fan, no, it doesn't. But this is gonna, you know, if it ha does happen, then you've gotta look at this move and be like, well, he's a talented young player. The club won him for some sort of reason. I guess just trust the club, trust Frank Lampard, and hopefully he becomes a baller for Chelsea. Other clubs are looking at Angel Gomez because he is a talented young player. And to be honest, if I was the player, I'd probably look at a different club other than Chelsea, who I think maybe I'd get playing time in immediately. But who knows, hopefully he's just really good, comes to Chelsea, Chelsea play him, and he's excellent. I don't know. Right, it's so enough Chelsea and Manchester United talk, let's go back to strikers and let's talk about Victor Ossimhem. Now, it was rumoured that there was a £75 million bid for the Nigerian centre forward who plays for Lille in Ligue 1. And that was rumoured that that was Chelsea. New stories coming from France have since stated it was not Chelsea who made said bid. It was in fact, drum roll please, Tottenham Hotspur and Jose Mourinho. <laughs> it was only recently headlines are saying Jose will have to stick to free transfers and not be able to spend any money this summer, which is hilarious, but also believable in terms of their financial position after the stadium build and purchases and, you know, lack of player sales. So are they really going to be coming in with a superstar, with a mega bid for a superstar like that? Probably not. To be honest, it was rumoured that the fee was never, or the transfer bid was never that high anyway. But what it's saying is Tottenham Hotspur and Jose Mourinho are interested in Victor Ossimhem. But so are Chelsea Football Club. He's been heavily linked to the Blues and Stamford Bridge. And of course, Frank Lampard has said very positive things about him before when Chelsea played Lille in the Champions League. He talked about his story. He talked about how he wants him to do well. And he says, as a striker, he has everything. So we know Frank Lampard really likes him. And to be honest, he probably does have everything. In Liga this season, he's playing for Lille, not a great side, he's got 17 league goal involvements playing centre forward, and that's very, very good indeed. He's got four Man of the Match awards in the, in the league as well, which is excellent. And for me, on top of the offensive contributions, which are very respectable for that team, you'd imagine he'd do better in a creative team like Chelsea. He's very, very good in the air, man. He wins like four or five aerial duels per game, which for me is really important and would do very, very well in the Premier League in both boxes, whether you're defending corners, which Chelsea aren't great at, let's be honest, or scoring headers at the other end. Man, did Chelsea start scoring headers again? Well, that would be nice. Now, can I see Chelsea buying Victor Osimhen for £75 million in this financial climate? No. <laughs> Could I see Lille selling Victor Ossimhen to Chelsea in the transfer window at some point generally? Yes. Like every other club in world football, Lille will be hit financially. Sure, they're in fourth place, but remember in Ligue 1, that is not a Champions League place, that is a Europa League place. Sure, that will offer additional funds, but nothing like Champions League football. And they were in Champions League football this season, so they will already have a downgrade. Will they look, it, will they look to cash in on Victor Ossimhen? Maybe. They, obviously, the league's been cancelled in France, so they don't have the um, revenue from matchgoers. They might be looking to make some bucks, and he'll bring a lot of bucks and is very highly rated. Now, what do I think about the player? I think he's good. To be honest, in reflection, looking at both players of him and Moussa Dembele, I think Victor Ossimhen would probably be the better choice of the two. Sure, Frank Lampard has said he likes both players, but... In terms of aerial duels and the strength and speed and scoring more goals and assists, Victor Ossimhen is the better player. He's also a couple years younger than Moussa Dembele and really I think he might be the better option. But what would Tammy Abraham think about this? He's still negotiating a new contract. Is he waiting to see what Chelsea do in the transfer market? Maybe. Would Victor Ossimhen bench Tammy Abraham? Maybe, they both have a similar amount of goals. In fact, Osimhen has a couple more, I think. So it's a difficult one. It would be good to have 
two players going neck and neck for the starting spot at Chelsea Football Club and just having the options. Frank Lampard needs to be a little bit cutthroat and he needs to start disappointing players. Sure, being loyal is good and showing faith in Tammy is good and he should still do that, especially if Tammy continues to score goals as well as improve, but he needs to let him know that I've got a guy behind you ready to go. And this guy is not a misfiring, you know, Michy Batshuayi or an Olivier Giroud that can't keep up with this you know the speed of play this guy is a year younger than you he's scoring a lot of goals at a high level and you better watch out man you don't miss that chance do you know what i mean still i'm keen to get your guys thoughts and opinions on these stories i will of course keep you all updated on what happens with angel gomez victor Simeon, moussa nobele and indeed more new stories as they surface around football media so make sure you subscribe to football therapy if you want to keep updated of all the chelsea news stories and yeah visit the channel every single day also go subscribe to my second channel if you want additional content yeah Yard link in the top of the description. Why not follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter? That's it for me, you lot. <laughs> Enjoy the football that's sadly not happening at the moment yet. And I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby.